What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I've got 101 items I've sold on eBay. These are items I've sold over the past couple months or so. They're not all the items I've sold. Uh, I've sold over 500 items in the last few months. A lot of them make it into vlogs. These are some that did not. But I know a lot of people like these videos where I just go through and I just show what I've actually sold. So we're going to burn through these real quick. Make sure to hit that like button for me, especially if you see something that you didn't know about, something you can look for in the wild. But let's jump into it. First item I got here is this $45 typewriter I picked up at a thrift store. I believe I paid $5 for it. I sold it for $45 plus shipping. Got a nice pair of unworn Skechers steel-toed work shoes. Paid $5 for these, I believe it was, at a Goodwill. Sold them for $45 plus shipping. I grabbed this Bible story book collection at yard sale. I only paid a quarter a piece for these. 10 volumes, so $2.50. And I sold them for $75 plus shipping for a total of $93.48. It pays to get to yard sales first. I was able to pick up this Xbox One. For only twenty dollars, it also had a connect with it, but I'll be selling the connect on Amazon. Probably for around sixty dollars. Twenty dollars was a great deal, and I was able to sell it for one hundred and ninety dollars plus shipping for a total of two hundred and twenty-three dollars and thirty-three cents. Shipping out this pair of Tony Llama boots. I believe this is the pair I picked up at a thrift store for only one dollar. I sold them for fifty dollars plus shipping for a total of sixty-five dollars and fifty-one cents. This brand has some really high-end boots that go into the hundreds. Some cases five, six hundred dollar boots. So Mad Balls are on my bucket list of items to find at a yard sale along with Kuji sweaters and some other items like that. I saw two of these balls at a yard sale and I thought, oh, finally found some mad balls. You know what? They're not actually mad balls. They're bootleg mad balls. And these sell surprisingly well online. I paid a dollar for this at the yard sale and I sold it for $44.95. In some cases, uh, the bootlegs are selling better than some of the Mad Balls. I picked this up at a church thrift store for $3, the West Wing Complete DVD series, and sold this quick for $60 plus shipping. I love finding those Complete DVD series. If you look for them at yard sales, if you can get them cheap, a lot of them can be great money. Next, I got these 12 Stephen King paperback books. I didn't pay any more than a dollar for these. Uh, a couple I got for a quarter at a yard sale, and I think the rest I paid about a dollar for at Goodwill and garage sales. Sold them for $30 plus shipping for a total of $40.43. Here's a great flip. I paid $5 for this Leatherman Wave multi-tool set and I sold it for $80 plus shipping. Always pay attention to brand new stuff at yard sales and thrift stores. Next I got this book set Lectures on the Apocalypse. Picked these up at Goodwill. Paid $2.50 a piece for them because that's the price of hardcovers at Goodwill. Even though I overheard an employee saying that all books are going to be the same price, soon so in my mind i thought oh great hard hardbacks are going to be a dollar just like the paperbacks but knowing goodwill is probably going to be the other way around they'll just raise the price of paperbacks to two dollars and fifty cents either way i sold this for forty dollars plus shipping for a total of forty eight dollars and fourteen cents sold this lot of barney vhs tapes i picked these up at goodwill for a dollar a piece and i sold them for twenty five dollars it makes it worth it because i'm shipping these media mail it doesn't cost much to ship media Sold these San Antonio Shoe Company shoes, Sass, for $24.95. Probably paid about $5 for them. I don't remember where I got them. I sold this vintage Scrabble game for $11.99 plus shipping. The buyer paid over $15 to have this shipped, so they're paying more on the shipping than what they paid on the item. And I'm still making about $10 on this because I picked it up at a yard sale for $0.50. Cents. When you can get things for $0.50 cents and still make $10, you know, it's worth your time. Next, I'm shipping out these Kodak ink cartridges. Picked these up for a quarter a piece at a yard sale. Sold them both for $28.89. I picked up these new caps at Goodwill. I paid a dollar a piece for them and I sold them for $25. Picked this Homedics massager up at a yard sale. I paid $5 for it. I sold it for $50 plus shipping. People will buy these. Next, I sold this Guitar Hero Live set, two guitars, game, and two dongles. Picked this up at a yard sale for $20, and I sold it for $160 plus shipping for a total of $209.55. Great flip. Shipping out this Hexbugs Robotics set here. 
I picked up, I believe only for $3 at Goodwill. Sold it for $30 plus shipping. I sold a big mouth Billy Bass. This is one of these singing bass. I picked this up at a yard sale for only a quarter and I sold it for $25 plus shipping. I picked up this pair of Brooks shoes for $5 at a yard sale. Took about two weeks to sell them. I sold them for $35 plus shipping. Here's a Beatles figure I picked up at a yard sale and I got a bunch of toys that day. I paid $120 for all the toys. I sold this one for $30 plus shipping. Here are some San Antonio Shoe Company shoes. These sold quick. I picked these up at a yard sale for a dollar and sold them for $35 plus shipping a day later. Next, I sold this vintage Craftsman planer and I paid $5 for this at a yard sale. Sold it for $40 plus shipping for a total of $54.15. I bought this L.L. Bean bag at a yard sale. I ended up paying $7 for it. I ended up selling it for $28.76 since shipped uh not big money however i bought it because some of these ll bean bags are really good money they go in the hundreds these tote bags however this one has quite a bit of damage in good condition this bag was selling between 45 and 65 dollars so i decided just to price it lower just to move it get my money back and make some money i still made ten dollars profit in the end about a year ago now i picked up a bag of stickers at goodwill all the stickers were vintage car stickers like ford honda volvo power here and I sold these two for $12.95. Vintage stickers, vintage signs, they all do well. Picked up these Olukai shoes at a Salvation Army. Paid up for these. I paid $20, but they're new, unworn. And I sold them for $65 plus shipping. Good brand to look out for. I bought this My Little Pony figure at a Goodwill. I paid $2 for it, and I sold it for $25. It's an international order, and I find that international orders do fairly well with stuff like this, because there's a lot of sellers in the United States selling this for $20. I priced it at $25, and I have global shipping turned on, and mine sold. Sold these Skechers mesh shoes. I paid $5 for these at a Goodwill. I sold them for $30 plus shipping. Sold this Arlo video doorbell for $95. I paid, I believe, $25, $30 for this at Home Depot. More clearance, bringing in more money. Here's a good flip. I picked these up at a yard sale for $100. Uh, not just these two. I picked up about 15 GM service manuals, mostly because I wanted the Corvette manuals, but the guy said he'd have to sell them all together. He originally wanted 200. I got it down to 100. And I sold these two for $125. So I've made my money back. I got another Corvette book I'll be able to sell for around $100. And then I have some other books I'll be able to make some money on. So it turned out to be a pretty good buy. Here is an incredible flip. I sold these VC Andrews books. The first five, six, seven, eight books can sell very well in this series. Here are the first five. I picked these up at a yard sale. I paid a quarter a piece for them. And I got $80 plus shipping. And the only reason I know that these books sell so well is I saw them at Goodwill. On the shelf next to each other and i'm like here's a, some up some books i can lot together i looked up vc andrews i'm like hey these are worth picking up so i bought these in the past i sold them and when i saw them at this yard sale it was a no-brainer to buy these because i knew i could make some good money and that's what reselling is all about is just experience get out there look for stuff look it up dig in boxes <laughs> And eventually you find some awesome things. Sold this Mizuno baseball glove for $19.99 plus shipping for a total of $31.21. believe I paid $3 for this at a Goodwill. Here's another GM service manual I sold. Sold this one for $20. We are well in the profit on these. Shipping out these Schleich figures I got at a yard sale. Paid $5 for all of them. They're horses and animals. But this is such a good brand to buy and sell, especially at yard sales when you can get them in lots for cheap. I sold these for $69.95 plus shipping for a total of $86. Here we got the whole Harry Potter collection. I picked these up at a church rummage sale. I think I only paid $0.50 cents a piece for these. I may have even only paid a quarter. They didn't have this stuff priced. Uh, I just took it up there and they didn't charge me much. I think my whole total for everything I bought that day was only like $12, so it couldn't have been much. But I sold these for $95 plus shipping for a total of $111.61. Shipping out this Monster High Doll, Elizabeth, and I picked this up at a yard sale really recently for $1.50 with some other ones. She seemed to be more rare. There's an 18-inch version of her selling for about $150. With the, her camera and accessories, she was selling for about $65, $75. So in this condition, I priced her at $30, and she sold within two hours. Shipping out this baseball glove, I paid $5 for this at a yard sale, and I sold it for $30 plus shipping.
Shipped out this wireless pet transmitter. Picked this up at Goodwill for $5 and I sold it for $60 plus shipping. Next I'm shipping out this Coca Motion hot chocolate maker. Picked this up for $3 at a thrift store. It's a little out of season, but I sold it for $40 plus shipping for a total of $54.47. Shipping out these Joe Nusa Tri-9 shoes that I got at a garage sale. Only paid a dollar for them. They are a little beat up though, unfortunately. I cleaned them up the best I could. I thought I would be able to clean them up better than I did, but I was still able to sell them for $20 plus shipping. Only paying a dollar, that's okay. Shipping out this study Bible I picked up at a yard sale. I think I paid $5 for this. I sold it for $50. Good flip, shipping media mail. Next we have this factory stereo replacement interface I picked up at Goodwill for $2.99 and I sold it for $20. Probably could have got $30 for it, but it's been busted open. Hopefully none of the pieces are missing. Uh, I looked in there, I couldn't see anything that would be missing. Picked up a bunch of these GM service manuals. I've already sold some of the Corvette ones I bought. Got $120 for those. I only got about $25 for these two Chevy trucks. That's okay, we've already made our money back and now we're just bringing in the profit. I'm shipping out this filter I sold for $25 free shipping. Oh my mistake, $29.95 free shipping and we'll make some profit on this. I ended up buying about 40 of these thermostats at Lowe's last year. I paid right around $30 for them, was selling them for $70, $75. This is a return from Amazon, and I'm just selling it on eBay because it's missing a little cable. I sold it for $25 plus shipping for a total of $38.24. I am shipping out this Cincinnati Bengals hat I picked up at Goodwill for $2, and I sold it for $25. I picked up this Care Bear Cousins 1985 Aladdin lunchbox and thermos for only two dollars at a yard sale. I sold it for fifty dollars plus shipping. Sold the first day I listed it. Shipping out this food saver unit. I paid I think six or seven dollars for this at Goodwill. Sold it for forty dollars plus shipping for a total of seventy six dollars and five cents. Person paid a lot to have this shipped. Here are four He-Man mini comics that came in a vintage toy lot I bought, and I got $20 for these. Could have got more. Some of them aren't in the greatest condition. And there's another one it looks like I can get about $80 for, so I'm selling that one separately. Here we have the 1981 Soft Head He-Man. He's got his battle axe and shield. This came out of the vintage toy lot I bought, and I sold it for $95. Unfortunately, he's missing the sword. Would have been able to get probably another $40. That's what the sword sells for by itself. Here are some He-Man Masters of the Universe accessories. These came in the lot that I bought of vintage figures. And I sold this for $20. Bucks. A lady at a garage sale saw me looking at this. And she told me just take it for free. So I did. And I sold it for $20 plus shipping. Here I have a bunch of ghost and haunted house type books. And I bought these at a yard sale. I got them all for $30. Actually, I have a few more than this. I'm selling the rest of those on Amazon. I'll make about $70 on those I pulled. And then I just sold all of these for $110 plus shipping. Here is a pair of San Antonio Shoe Company shoes. 12 double wide is the size. Picked these up at a yard sale for only a dollar. Sold them for $35 plus shipping. Here is a Power Lords figure that came in the vintage toy lot I bought. And look at this thing. Something made of nightmares. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen this show, so I don't really know what it's all about. But I sold this for $25. Anytime you see any like old action figures that are unique like this, they're probably worth picking up or at least looking into worth some money. Sold this bread maker for $35 plus shipping for a total of $53.69. Got this for $2 at a thrift store and I found it toward the end of the, the worst part of the pandemic. Uh, everyone was buying bread makers on eBay during that and the price skyrocketed up and then the prices started coming down. So yeah, this one, if I would have got it a bit sooner, probably would have sold for double, uh, but still got $35 for it. I only paid two bucks. It's possible you may have seen me sell these Alan Edmund loafers before. Not sure if they were ever in a video, but these were returned and I just relisted them and sold them again for $39.95 plus shipping. Paid $4.99 for them at a Goodwill. Here are some New Balance 928 V3s I sold. I got these at a yard sale. I paid $3 for them. Actually got three pairs that day, I remember. Uh, I believe the same model. Two blacks and one white. I ended up selling these for $30 plus shipping. If you was at a garage sale and digging through a box and saw this, would you know what it is? Would you know that it's worth $30? This is a He-Man uh, figure accessory for Beast Man. 
This is his whip and I uh, sold it for $30. Sold a couple Pokemon figures I picked up at Goodwill for $2 a piece. I sold them for $20 plus shipping. Next, I am shipping out this Zenith Clock Radio. I paid $2 for this at a thrift store. I sold it for $20 plus shipping. Shipping out this pair of Ultra shoes I picked up at a thrift store for $2. And I sold them for $40 plus shipping. I am shipping out some Hasbro Hero figures. I picked up hundreds of these at a Goodwill for $15. I've already made a few hundred dollars on them, and I sold this lot right here for $12.95. It all adds up. I am shipping out this bread maker paddle. I picked up the bread maker for about $2 at a thrift store and sold this paddle for $24.99. I also sell the lid, the pan, some other parts. You make some pretty good money. Not every bread maker is the same, it definitely depends on the model. This particular model was not worth selling the whole bread maker. You can actually make more money just selling the parts. Picked up this Glow Friends collector's case at a garage sale. I paid $5 for it. It's from the 80s. It's in very good condition. I sold it for $48.31. Picked up this brand new Toy Story Woody figure. This isn't the uh, original. I'm not sure what year it is exactly. It was at Goodwill for $12.99. And I sold it for $89.95. Plus shipping for a total of $110.02. I believe the original one new like this would probably sell for three, dollars $400. Next, I'm shipping out some Hoka 1-1 shoes. This is a great brand to look out for. They sell for pretty good money. Paid $5 for these at a Goodwill and sold them for $54.95 for a total of $69.45. So this He-Man figure, this is one I got in the box of vintage figures I bought. And I got $65 for that in the mini comic. Shipping out this Sunpack camera adapter I picked up at a Goodwill. I paid $2.99 for this. That day I also got some other great camera stuff. One item I sold for over $200. Uh, I think the other one was about $50. But I sold the adapter for $35 plus shipping for a total of $48.06. Next I'm shipping out this magnetic chess game I picked up at Goodwill. Uh, I believe I only paid $0.99 cents for this. I got it home and it had some damage, I'm pretty sure, some problems. Of course, I put all that in the description and I just sold it for $10 plus shipping. Probably would have sold it for about $30 uh, if it didn't have the damage. Hopefully the person who bought it read the description. Sometimes they don't, they just think everything's good. But we still made profit on it in the end. Sold this Mr. Coffee Pot replacement. And I got this at Goodwill for $1.99. I sold it for $20 plus shipping for a total of $36.60. Sold this pair of New Balance shoes. I paid $5 for at a Goodwill. Sold them for $30 plus shipping for a total of $47.77. Got this troll figure that came out of the vintage toy lot I bought. I uh, got $15 for this. Here are some more croc deals. I uh, got a pre-owned pair like this, that I, the ones I sold for $70. I sold these for $80 plus shipping. Brand new. Got them at a yard sale for $5. $80 plus shipping. Sold this Jabra hands-free call system. I picked this up at Goodwill for $5.99 and I sold it for $60. It's open box. If it was completely sealed, I probably could have got an extra $20 or so. Here is a Scooby-Doo board game Monopoly I picked up at a Goodwill. I think I paid $3 for this. Usually sell my board games on Amazon if possible, but this one didn't have a listing there, so I went ahead and sold it on eBay. I sold it for $30 plus shipping. I sold these Proline water shoes. I picked up at a yard sale for $5. <laughs> yes, I opened these. I'm glad I did. Apparently, I missed a yard sale sticker they had hidden in here. I just checked the listing, and sure enough, it was just out of the photo, so that was lucky. But I sold these for $65, so if they got this with a $5 garage sale sticker, they'd probably... Well, you know, you never know about the person. Some people get really mad about that stuff. You, some people are just like, well, whatever, you know, I needed these, so he has to make money too. Some people are more reasonable than other people. And I get asked a lot in comments for some reason if I take garage sale stickers and price stickers off of things and... Yes, of, of course I do. I always take the, the price stickers off. But yeah, I'm glad I caught it, and it's going to be some good profit. So I bought this blind at a yard sale I paid 50 cents for. I thought it might be worth money, and you know, it's worth a little bit because it sold. I sold it for $10 plus shipping for a total of $19.97. So in the end, I'm going to make about $8 profit, so it was worth buying, I guess, just barely. An item like this that's larger and bulkier that you're not making a lot of money, you got to be careful. Got to make sure you get the shipping weight dimensions and everything right because you don't want to get stuck paying 
you know, an extra ten dollars if it ships across country on you. That's why items like this, you know, I always do calculated shipping on eBay. Got a pair of New Balance shoes I picked up for five dollars at Goodwill. And I sold these for $45 plus shipping. Not all New Balance shoes sell great, but there are some models that do very well. Here I have these X-Files DVDs. I bought these at a yard sale. I paid a dollar a piece for them. I also got the Complete Season. I already sold that. I sold that for like $120. These three are brand new sealed. I think they're just like clips and highlights of episodes from various seasons. So they're nothing high dollar. I sold them for $35, free shipping, media mail shipping. Here's a great flip, this Chicago Bulls Jordan Jersey Champion. It is super clean. I went into a Goodwill and there was a new rack and this was on it. I can't believe no one grabbed it because there was like five or six people looking through these racks. I grabbed it and I sold it for $100. Got this Micro Machines car case here. I paid $1.99 for it at Goodwill and I got $40 shipped for it. Probably could have got $150, $200 if all the cars were in there. Next, I have another clothing item I sold. This t-shirt, George Jones, Rockin' with the Possum. Picked this up at Goodwill, I guess for $2.99, I think is their base t-shirt prices. See the back is also filled with graphic, which is good. And I guess what's even better than that is I sold it for $89.99 plus shipping. Sold some Keen sandals. These are great. These always sell. I can't remember what I paid for these. I think five or six dollars. Sold them for $24.95 plus shipping. Next, I picked up these brand new Skechers at a yard sale. Paid $7 for them. Sold them for $35 plus shipping. However, I think I meant to price these at $39.99. Doesn't matter. We still sold them, made some money. They sold within about a day. Sold this pair of Reebok Classic White Shoes. Paid $5 for these at a thrift store, and I sold them for $30 plus shipping. Next, I got a couple of pop figures. I picked these up at a yard sale. I paid a dollar a piece for them, and I got $25 shipped. I sold this Spell Law book. It's an RPG book. I bought some D&D books, some DC RPG books from the 80s recently from a yard sale. I paid $2 a piece for the boxes. Uh, this was randomly in there. It doesn't go with the sets, so I'm selling it separate. Sold it for $30 plus shipping. I picked up these Nike Turbo Shock shoes at a yard sale for $3. I sold them for $24.99 plus shipping. Shipping out some of these Sperry shoes. I don't buy a lot of Sperry's because they're just oversaturated on eBay. But every now and then you find a pair that's cheap enough in a certain model and condition that makes it worth selling. In this case, it was a more rare model and I paid $5 for these at a Goodwill. Sold them for $24.95 plus shipping. Took about three months to sell. Next, I'm shipping out this Hometics Massager. I paid $3 for this at a yard sale. It's missing two of the attachments. One of the attachments are the ones for the heat setting. So I was only able to sell this for $25, but we still sold it. Made some money. Next, I have this filter. I paid $1 for this at a thrift store. And I sold it for $18. Next, I sold this Audio-Technica microphone and wireless transmitter. Paid $5 for this at a Goodwill. Sold it for $45 plus shipping. Picking up this baseball glove I sold, I believe I picked this up at Goodwill for about $5. Maybe I picked it up at a yard sale for less or a thrift store. I buy a decent amount of gloves, so I don't really remember. I probably didn't pay more than $5 for it, though. I sold it for $29.99 plus shipping. Picked up this pop figure at a yard sale for $5. Sold it for $50, but probably could have got $25 more if it wasn't crushed on the side. But hey, I'll still take the $50 sale. I don't buy a lot of Asics shoes to sell, but these Asics gels, the versions with the gel bottoms here, they do quite well. This might be the pair I got at a thrift store for $1. Or it could be the pair I got at for $5 at a Goodwill. I don't remember exactly. Either way, I sold them for $34.95 plus shipping for a total of $48.20. Shipping out some filters. I've sold these before actually and they were a return. The person who bought them said they were the wrong size. So I just relisted them for $24.00. In 89 cents and they sold again here i sold some jarts for 2.99 picked these up at goodwill i sold them for 20 dollars plus shipping so it's some money the next i'm sad to say i sold the rotten a game i've had this sitting on the desk since i've listed it just been enjoying its presence it's nice 90s vibe and i sold it for 35 dollars plus shipping for a total of 55 25 only paid a dollar for it at a yard sale. I will miss you, Rotten Egg. Then I got this Daniel LaRusso action figure from the Karate Kid. Ended up selling this for $30. That's going to do it for the video, everybody. I really want to thank you for watching. I hope you saw some things that you can look for at yard sales or thrift stores. Flip it on eBay, make some money. If you did, make sure to hit that like button for me. 
Make sure you're subscribed. It really helps the video. Even share the video if you feel inclined to. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Till next time.